You see her face? Oh. Do you love her? Good morning, little girl. Good morning. Puppy Express. Come on. Puppy Express. Puppy Express. Good girl. Good girl. I see Cooper across the street. Hi, Cooper. Across the street. I love you, Cooper. Goodbye, Daniel. Oh boy, oh boy. It was a crazy morning. Crazy. I I woke up and Daniel and he had pulled out his Mickey button extension. Big giant mess. And so I put him in the shower, but he was so spastic that once I got him back in and Judy and I were trying to get him dressed, he was so incredibly spastic. So I'm going to call the doctor today and see if they can do an adjustment to his pump administration and give him just like a dose higher, however they do it, in the mornings. Because we've noticed so far, almost every morning, and it could be his body's response to moving and getting up i don't know so many bugs in my yard this year i don't know what it is maybe all the rain god it's so buggy once i got him on the bus he was smiling and clean and happy and off for his summer school program he has summer school monday through thursday until 12 30. it's like 8, 8 to 12 30 or something like that <sighs> Hi, Mr. Fluff. Hi. Theo, you're such a big boy. You looking out the window? It's really hot outside. I'm gonna take the puppy out. Puppy's out. Sometimes I do them one at a time, like right now, because <clears throat> she's got a different agenda and he does too. <laughs> so I have to drive over to my pulmonologist office to pick up my sleep study equipment. I have to be there by one o'clock. I have to leave soon. I, I don't know how much equipment they're talking, like a mask and a camera. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Hadi. Hi. Hi, little girl. Getting big already. Okay, I'm going to get my sleep study stuff. Here I go. I'm really feeling like I just don't have time for this today. All right, I'm back at the pulmonary people. I have to come back and forth here like four times in the next week. It's annoying. It looks like a lunchbox. just a monitor and you wear it around your waist and it's and you put it under your nose to, to monitor snoring and then you put a thing on your finger to monitor your oxygen it's like a little computer it's pretty cool so I'll show you later when I put it on at sleeping time but right now 
I do think I should be able to sleep with it on. It's not a big deal. I'm usually so tired, so. <laughs> it's the waking up multiple times that's weird. All right, so now I'm going to, I guess, head back home. I only have duty until three o'clock. It is 1.30. And yeah. I'm currently watching the O.J. Simpson trial in the parking lot of Starbucks. <laughs> Uh, the um, the parole hearing, rather. I don't know. Is he going to get out? Let's wait and see. So, I just went to the P.O. box. I'm at the post office. I haven't been over here in a long time. I thought I would check the box because I renewed it online, but I'm like, I haven't been over there in forever. And it was just chuck full of junk mail. Kind of sad, like, when you go there and you're like, you open it up and you're always hoping you see at least a card and there's nothing there. And it's okay. It's fine. I mean, I don't when we're asking for mail I just always like to get mail so it made me feel like you know somebody else might also like to get mail and be kind of confined so I think what I'm gonna do ah, to pay these feelings forward is I'm gonna go home and send some mail to somebody I don't know who I don't know what <laughs> a card a letter a picture of something because I bet somebody else out there likes mail, like I do. Anyhow, at least I checked. I have a nice ice cold iced coffee and I'm all ready for my sleep study tonight. Yay! Okay. They're considering letting him out today. Bill Roden, uh, again, Bill Roden with us here, right at Laurel right here. And again, that, that seems to be still what most folks uh, suspect will happen. If he does get parole, where are we going to see OJ? Considering all of these factors, my vote is to grant your parole effective when eligible. Thank you. There go. And he gets parole. In addition, need to go out. Yeah, you had your turn, you little crate dweller. She has to stay in here when I go outside, and she stays in here a good amount of the time because she's potty training, huh? But she's doing a very good job. She likes to sleep in her crate. She snuggles up and takes her naps. We'll come back in and then we'll take you out, okay? But Henry needs a, a good walk around the house. I want to go swimming so bad. I'm so sweaty. I just want to jump into water somehow. Ah. Whatever. Whatever. Daniel and I and Henry are driving Thomas over to his friend's house for a sleepover. I'm a good mom and I can't find my van key. <sighs> we are back. Now, when I talk about spasticity, does everybody know what I mean? Spasticity is when your muscles get, you know, clench up and you know, like you have a spasm you know you ever have a charlie horse and the muscle gets like really hard and tight and it hurts really bad and it won't let go well that's what spasticity is daniel kind of gets that but in his whole entire self hey this and he's so strong he really gives this chair a beating but he just got really, really spastic a few minutes ago. And he pulled his foot right out of the foot pedal. And now he's relaxing for me. Are you relaxed? Yeah? All right. Well, that's good. This pump inside his body, where is it? In here. He's got this device. It's all under under the skin but there's a device inside Daniel that administers what they call baclofen to his spinal fluid 
intrathecally, which is far more effective than if you like take a pill. Because if you take a pill, you have to take... He's having issues. You're not having issues right now. Are you tired? Huh? Want to do your meds with me in the kitchen? I love, I love his hair. I always touch his hair, but it's like very th thick, and it just feels nice when you touch it. Hi. You can touch my hair. Go ahead, touch my hair. <laughs> Sometimes he pulls my hair though. That isn't fun. When he's having like a spasm or. A Spastic event, I call them. Sometimes he will reach out and grab a hold of whatever he can. So it could be me or my hair or whatever. He was just like all clenched, and I was going to show you guys. Now he's the opposite. Right? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? It's six something. It's a little early, actually. What he gets at night is seizure meds and it's the equivalent of Singular, I think. It's a generic. But what do you think? Hmm? You wanna stay out here for a little while with the doggies and watch TV with me? What do you wanna do? I'm not gonna go outside tonight because it's very hot and humid and it looks like some thunderstorms might be coming, but I just can't handle the bugs. <laughs> you know, it's terrible. There were so many bugs out today. They get everywhere. And it feels nice in here. The air has been running and it feels cool. The moment I saw you, my heart skipped a beat. The moment I saw you, I danced on my See feet. Her face? Cause I love, 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 oh. love, love you. Do yeah, you I love, 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 love yeah. you. Oh, she I loves do. you. Look at what she's I doing. Do. take her outside so she can go potty right outside the door here Okay, so basically what I have is this belt and the belt goes around you and it has a snore sensor that goes around and onto your nose like a like when you have oxygen and then a this thing that 
monitors your pulse ox and your heart rate and all that. And then I guess the computer itself in here and the belt monitors the rate of your breathing. Henry is absolutely fascinated. What? I know. It smells funny. Don't touch. Come on. Go lay down. Mommy's going to be a weirdo. Mommy's going to look like a robot. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's so concerned. He's like, what is that? Mom? It smells funny. So let me put this thing on. I have paperwork I have to do. I have a phone number in case I have questions. Pre-sleep. Yeah, just like questions about what time you go to bed, do you drink caffeine, you know, just a general. I never know what my life is going to be like. Like I told the guy I could get up a dozen times, I could get up no times, but it's pretty early for me. It's only 8.40, but I'm really tired. <laughs> so I'm going to put this thing on, I guess. Oh, must wear a shirt. Put a round. Okay, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> I need to wear this. This is a snore sensor. And this is a finger doodaddy. It reminds me of Darth Vader for some reason. I, don't, I have no idea why. Dun, 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 dun. He told me to wear it on my ring finger. Because people tend to like rub their face when they sleep. And it, this and this go into this. It goes around straps around me and it's just expands and contracts with your breathing I guess and measures it it's got little um, lights but the lights turn off so that it's at least I hope it's working I don't know the lights were on so they said the lights would turn off after a few minutes because in the dark they don't want you to be looking at lights but the thing feels so weird Hopefully I'll sleep. This is very strange. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because I don't sleep very well and they just want to see, I guess, what's happening while I'm sleeping. I don't know. We'll see what comes out of it. I don't know if it's gonna... The last time I had a sleep study I did it at a hospital and it was... It just wasn't even effective because I couldn't fall asleep. It was like a hospital sleep study place and it was supposed to, they made it look like a hotel but I never sleep in strange places so I don't know maybe this will work but uh, whatever hmm. I'll just I'll just pretend I'm in the hospital oh, I'm so sick I need oxygen it's kind of itchy it's like sticks way up your nose all right I don't know. Henry like keeps sniffing everything. I'm afraid he's gonna like chew on me in the nighttime, <laughs> like the smell of the rubber or something. He's over here. All right, I'm just gonna sit here and then fall asleep, I guess. And I won't. I feel really strange. <laughs> All right, vlog. So, and then what happens is I take it off, I put it back in the little box, and I return it tomorrow. That's the way it goes. I don't know. It's already bugging me. I better lay down. Okay, good night. Have a nice night. Don't I look lovely? Uh, this is so funny. I'm probably going to wake up 30,000.